Like everyone in my generation, I am depressed. And you know what the cure to depression is? Hiding from the world forever. And thus I shall be making a place to do that, basically. I went to the thrift store, got a bunch of materials, and I will also be using scraps from past projects. First thing I gotta do is raise my bed up. But in order to do that, I gotta get this mattress out of here. I'm also taking the opportunity to wash my bedding, hence why I took all my bedding off of my bed, I suppose. I'm also going to take the opportunity to vacuum because I haven't vacuumed under my bed in ever, so. No! <laughs> nice. Ta-da! I bought this yoga mat as part of one of the thrift hauls. I'm gonna use these as a base layer to make it extra comfy. What's all this? Do you like do you like the renovations that I've made? The very permanent renovations. I think my favorite part is the sideways bed blocking my desk. Okay, bye. Honey, you're in prison. What are you in for? Tax evasion? Same. I've got two yoga mats underneath it for comfort and then I will put this green grass blanket I ordered right on top because grass. Before I put everything back I bought these things which will raise my bed up a total of eight inches. It out. I bought some 8 inch bed razors which have made my bed super wobbly but I have a solution. Put some pillows between my bed and the wall so it hopefully doesn't fall. Little haiku for you. that wasn't a haiku. I only bought 8 of them however and I need uh, 9 so I'm gonna have to figure out something for the extra leg but that's fine. I, I probably won't need it, it's okay. Oh this is going poorly. Ah. This is great. This is awesome. For my next trick. Fuck. Uh, okay. Now that they're all set in place, this one doesn't do shit, but that's fine. Who needs it? Moment of truth. I underestimated how short I was. Now, one day <laughs> into having my bed propped up, having not yet secured it better, it fell. Not while I was sleeping, thankfully, but still. And ever since, I've been terrified of dying. Well, maybe not dying specifically, just dying to this, because it would be no one's fault but my own, and I don't know if life insurance covers that. So, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm supposed to be stable. What the fuck? All I did was lean on it, bro. Okay, everything is fine, everything is good, everything's hunky fucking dory. After that catastrophe, I decided it was time to take a break, play some games in my new little hidey hole just to break it in a little bit. That looks good as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking Alan. This motherfucker, this unibrow having motherfucker. What? Where'd it go? No! Please don't fire me. Papa, please. Papa, I need this job. You don't understand. <gasps> Bitch. Now we're doing more than just sewing for this video, but also I will be crocheting a thing that I haven't done much of. So if it looks a little funky, don't come at me. Currently, I'm in the midst of crocheting a bunch of tiny squares to make this big crochet, well, biggish crocheted blanket. And if you look here, you'll see I made this mushroom, really big strawberry, and this little strawberry garland to decorate. I'm gonna go put these under my bed now. Oh, and I bought, I bought this guy. Oh, he's heavy, he's dense. I like how he warbles. Look at him, look at that warbly boy. I got him at Target. Boop. I also intend on putting this little guy down there a little bit. I may need to change his batteries. The uh, the mushroom one looks a little, how do you say, like a penis, uh, but that's okay. Don't all mushrooms kind of look a little phallic shaped? For the strawberry, I started with just like a little magic circle and just kind of kept building onto that. Added some seeds, you know, little leaves. I also used pretty much all of my scrap as stuffing. We've got this which I've cut up, which is from the mushroom video, and this stuff which is obviously from the prom video, and various other shit. I think it's about time I put some of these under here. 
Yeet. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Yay. Yeet. No. <laughs> but. In case you're wondering, oh mighty zero, what the fuck do you do outside of these videos? Well, I'll tell you. For $6.99 today, you can get any information you want from me. All it takes is a comment and my will to answer it for $6.99. That's $699 or $6.99. You decide. <laughs> well, I'm actually in college, believe it or not. I know. Big brain over here. Oh, but zero, what the fuck are you in college for? Sewing? Fashion? photography perhaps <laughs> no i'm in college for psychology and wouldn't you know it but this week is finals week so if this video comes out a little later than expected that is why god i'm so fucking bad at math um fuck um ah this one's nice maybe this one the fuck is that get out of here bitch i appreciate the feedback but fuck you anyways, bitch. Uh... All right, well, now that that's done, I think it's time I took a break again. Yay, I leveled up. Shop, I wanna go shopping. Um, I want this flower. What the fuck was that? I've been here for three hours. Ooh, that fucking pineapple is terrifying. Hey, Edna, don't mind the pineapple. Cool shirt, nerd. It's got the Duolingo owl on it. That's fire. Okay, no, but I really should get back to work on this project. It's already been like two weeks. I don't know why Papa's Pizzeria is the bid for this video, but we've committed, all right. Can we all agree that Papa's Pizzeria is the equivalent of Clash of Clans, but for early 2000s mentally ill kids? Is that just me? That might just be me. Here's a couple final shots of the underbed area. A bit better lit, super comfy, super cozy. Very much looking forward to sleeping under there for many days. Now that school's out, I can do that. All right, I'm gonna go take a nap and get back to you. I guess in five weeks perhaps maybe more who knows all right i'm gonna go get to level 100 and papa's ice cream maria or whatever the fuck game that is bye <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and eat your vegetables <laughs>